Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Joining the happiness, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I would love for you to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, you can follow me on TikTok at um, Joanna Lurie. That's J A W A N N A L A R I E. Anyway, this is just going to be a quick video. I'm in my scrubs because I just got off work at um, 11, but um, it's about 12 now because that's what time I got home. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to take this girl so I can take a nice long shower. But I just wanted to share with y'all that um, if you've been watching me for a while, you know, about four months ago I made a video about how um, I'm not going back to a particular <clears throat> nursing home through my agency because it, it was just getting dangerous to me to work there as far as my CNA certification and my med aid certification. Like, I felt like I was putting my license at risk being so understaffed and it was just a bunch of craziness at that place um well they were on the news like last month um basically they were on their way to being shut down um they have a lot i mean a lot of complaints um I know one of them, the list was going by so fast, because I just happened to be at another job, and I saw them on the news, I was like, oh my god, that's the place I used to work at. Um, so basically, uh, I know one of the complaints, or whatever, one of the things was an employee, um, had to work 22 hours straight, and I know that had to be either a nurse or a med aide, because CNAs through agency, you know, we can, they can kind of just leave when it's time for them to go. Um, but, you know, when you're a nurse or you're a med aid or a med tech, you got the keys to that cart. You can't just leave. You know, you got to count, we were supposed to count off somebody the narcotics and all that. But anyway, so, um, I think another complaint was one of the CNAs had told the news how they barely had time to wash some of the patients up because, they were so short staffed, which is true. I know firsthand. I know when I was working there, sometimes um, I would have a whole hall to myself, meaning I would have like 30 patients on first shift. Now, second shift is very busy too, but first shift is freaking crazy busy. And it's, to me, it's so much harder getting people up versus putting them to bed, especially people that are on lifts and stuff like that. But anyway, um, so yeah, it, like I remember it was awful sometimes like having a whole haul to myself literally one time I don't think I ever told y'all but there for four hours I was actually the only CNA for the enti for an entire unit meaning okay this nursing home they have two sides they call it the A side and the B side I was on the B side that's like an entire unit I think on that side I don't even know how many patients are over there like over 40 so really it's supposed to be like like four or however many scenes over there but the other scenes see i was working from 7 a.m to 7 p.m the other scenes were only working from 7 to 3 so that's how i was the only um cna over there on that entire unit for um uh four hours all i did was answer the lights because that's all i could do and i remember um one time on night shift, there wasn't even a nurse for that size. <laughs> like, not a, a nurse. Because the DON had left the keys. She left the, the keys to the cart in her mailbox. People didn't get their medicine. Um, it, I could make a separate video about that. It, it was crazy. Um, I remember one time there was only one nurse in the whole entire building. I think I told y'all about that. Um, I was there as a med aide, and there was another med aide. There was another RN. She was the only nurse for the entire building, and she had a cart of keys. She wasn't just like a supervisor. She had an assignment herself to pass out medicine on. Plus, the she, technically she was still over us, is over the med aides, and technically over the CNAs. And that day was just freaking crazy. We had three admissions that day. It, it was crazy. Um, so that stuff got a lot of shit going on. It, like, it's, it's crazy. And the crazy thing is, if you go inside that building, the building is actually pretty nice, especially compared 
to these other places that I've been to. Some places are just ghetto. You just you could go in there. They just look raggedy looking, you know, outdated. But the building of that place actually looks nice. It's, they're very updated. Um, the computers are updated. The nurses station and stuff is very updated. So you wouldn't think, you know. And it, it was just, it was a lot of craziness going on. And they're actually in the middle of a lawsuit too. But that's what you know what that's what corporate gets for being so damn greedy. Cause I found out it was corporate that um they kept bringing new patients in. Like every single day, you might get two, three, four admissions, and it, it was just so insane. Um, because the deal is, she had told us that corporate, um, they want the field to build up, even though we don't have enough staff. So that's what y'all get. So now I found out it, it today, or well, I found out tonight, the place has been officially shut down. Because I know somebody that I used to work with over there. I said, well, why, why aren't you at and Sons? It's like, they are officially shut down. So I wonder what they're going to do with this building. Like, they're going to give it to another company or I don't know what they're going to do with it. But anyway, I just want to let you know that. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.